Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woking, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're going to be going over the Mana Spirals for the two new four units, Serena and Yuya. Now, usually I think I don't really cover the Mana Spirals for specifically just four units, unless they're four units I super care about. But after Karina kind of came out and completely destroyed everything with her cheese... I've kind of learned to stop underestimating mana spirals for certain characters. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to go over them, give my thoughts about them, talk about them a little bit. So if you end up liking this video, you can leave a like. It helps me a whole bunch. You can comment, tell me how you feeling. Are you going to be using your mana spiral? Are you, I say they're not like characters I'm super familiar with, but I can guarantee you there is someone out there who loves Serena and Yuya. So they're pretty happy, I assume. Or if you're not, tell me why. Um, and finally, you can subscribe to me if you want some more uh, gotcha stuff in general. Alright, so let's start with Serena. Uh, she's a defense unit. And we got, whoop, Assault Flame. Whoop, deals flame damage to enemies in a line and increases the entire team's critical rate by 10% for 10 seconds. Uh, Blazing Pain. Deals flame damage to enemies directly ahead. <laughs> Shareable 3. Uh, Dragon Haste, 15%. Chain co-op ability, flame above 10 hits equals critical rate 12%. Barrage obliteration, these are the abilities, 7%. Add 7% the modifier applied to critical damage for every 20 hit combo up to 3 times per quest. Hmm. Opponent stun resistance 100% and barrage devastation 5%. Increases critical rate by 5% for every 30 hit combo up to 3 times per quest. Um... She doesn't seem that changed uh, from what she already was doing previously. And I think the last time this happened, um, it was Karina, who literally did not change very much. It actually felt like they had barely changed anything. So that leads me to believe that they have greatly increased her mods. Now, unfortunately, water mods, that's kind of what your character, the damage they actually do in game. Uh, Jigalia doesn't tell us the mods of characters, so we have to actually wait till someone bites the bullet and does the um, the spiral itself to find out how the mods are. For example, some of the group, some there can be a great mana spiral that sounds amazing on paper, and then we get in the game, someone you know spends the required materials, and then their mana spiral is complete bunk basically uh, because their mods were super low, like or barely changed. So. Even though I don't think that, you know, kind of basic, so I'm sure to some people it's like, oh, why did you kind of stay a basic unit? I think it'll be fine as long as she's super powerful. <laughs> so let's wait and see for that. Um, wait and see for the mods. I could see them completely making her mods crazy and having just this crazy crit monster on your side. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot of crit monsters from what I can think of for uh, Fire Sword. There's, pl there's plenty of good fire swords, don't get me wrong on that one. Um, but I can't really think of many that are so crit focused. Maybe it shows how many flame swords I actually use. Also kind of weird for a defense unit to be so attack heavy, but I digress. Let's go to Yuyu. Yuya. Awesome hair, by the way. It's great hair. Deadly Joyride deals flame damage to the surrounding enemies and increases the user's attack rate by 20% for 10 seconds. Changing directions is possible during the attack. Cool. A rowdy Rumbler increases the entire team's defense by 10% and strength by 15% for 5 15 seconds and grants all teammates a 1U shield. Then all nullifies damage less than 30% of the user's maximum HP. This does not stack with any other shields of the same type. Okay. It's not bad. Um, critical rate 10%, that's his co-op ability, chain co-op ability is flame dragon haste 18%, abilities chicken at heart 3, <laughs> increases strength by 20% when HP is 60% or above, but decreases strength by 20% when HP is less than 60%, also every time the deadly joyride skill hits enemies 3 times, the user's defense will be reduced by 10% for 5 seconds, but their attack skill damage will be increased by 5%. The skill damage buff can stack up to the increase of 100%, but all stacks will be lost upon using an attack skill. Okay. Opponent stun resistance 100%. 
Um, and Prime Devastation 10%. Increases the critical rate of the adventurer you are currently controlling by 10% for 5 seconds every time their initial skill displayed off the top of their skill list becomes available for use. Activate after activation, this ability will not activate again for 15 seconds. Hmm. I kind of... Uh, he feels really good. Now, I wasn't too familiar with uh, Yuya here. Um... But he seems just, on the base, much more of a kind of interesting character to just kind of have fun and use. Um, like a real big berserker with the way that he seems to be taking- the more damage you want to deal with him, the less defense he ends up getting um, by using Deadly Drill Red. But it also looks like you also don't want to get hit with him at all, because the second you hit minus 60%, you're kind of screwed in that instance. Um, until someone heals you, but I guess there's, you know, with low end now that I think about it, there's plenty of ways for like for you to get healed up. But you know, that doesn't mean there's there's not going to be situations where you're not just completely boned. Um, yeah, in general. So, hmm. Let me read Rowdy Rumbler again because this is a share before. Increases the entire team's defense by 10% and strength by 15% for 15 seconds. It grants all teammates a one use shield and one all face. Okay. So that should help him a little bit with that in that case, I guess. Um, so that's kind of nice to have. Um, but yeah, using it, I forget someone said. I think I saw someone say that his radius is bigger now. I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see on that one. But I like the way he's kind of built, to be honest. So I really hope he ends up being pretty good. What your support? That's weird. A support unit. That is also an ext Who is he supporting? Other than himself. Who are you supporting, Yuya? Is it because of the, the defense ability? I actually feel like they kind of got a little bit... Twisted about what is a defense unit and what is a support unit in this game anymore. Um, Pe Pecaron ended up being very similar where she's a... Um, I think she's a defense unit, but she also is like the most damage dealing light unit 5 I think early in the game that isn't limited uh huge caveats but still um best at something um so it's kind of weird it's kind of weird to f see a support unit just be so <laughs> suicidal I guess <laughs> which I guess kind of fits if he's going around on a motorcycle just completely beating people up man yeah, these are these two adventurers. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of interested in Yuya, but the way that Mana Spirals are, the way they're so expensive, I don't know if I want to risk it. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on both of them to see if either one of them um, ends up being a unit that I can use a Mana Spiral on. I don't think I've done a Mana Spiral since Halloween Ellie. The experience with Halloween Ellie was so unhappy that you know the having to wait for her to get better that it kind of soured me on a lot of mana spirals so now i'm super picky and choosy about which ones i pick i still do it for the characters i absolutely love but some characters i'm just like oh i don't, I don't know i don't want to take the risk mm, you're too expensive at that point for me but that's the end of today's video everyone i hope you liked it tell again tell me how you feel about these i currently like again i like the way you get built and i feel Serena could be a bit basic, but I want to wait for her mods to actually judge her properly. Um, and that's it. All right, you guys have a good day now. And thanks to Zen, I actually have an ending sign-off for my videos now. Remember, everyone, watch my other damn videos. Till next time, <laughs> goodbye.